please welcome to the cage, Courtney Cameron. First ladies and only ladies fight on tonight card. First one walking in is Courtney, the headhunter Cameron, fighting out of Foosbox Samba One and honoring U.S. Air Force veteran Landon Hopper and anyone else who has served. Nice to be introduced by Miranda Maverick, as we keep saying. 12 and four in her professional career. She made sure to let me know that it's not nice. 10 and four, there's a tournament there's in a there. There's a tournament there's in there, 12 yeah. and four. Listen, we saw Courtney fight, uh, again, one of the visitors to Wyoming. We saw her fight, and the lady she lost to was extremely good. She lost to Nikki Cruz, the young lady out of California, 18-year-old that we saw fight that has won titles in California. So she's been in with some of the best. Absolutely, and uh, when I saw this matchup on the card, I was really excited about it. Both these ladies looking at, this is sort of a pivotal fight in both their careers and that it can really sort of turn a corner for them and show that they belong on a big stage. And uh, so I think they're both gonna come into this camp or come into this fight having had a strong camp and with a lot of ambition. I like the headhunter gear, it's nice. It's, it's kind of gives you that tribal feel, <laughs> yet a little bit of red, white, and blue on there. You know, it's good to have on AVM 13. Courtney getting done up with a little bit of Vaseline there on the eyebrows. She fought a great fight. I mean, she went the distance with Nikki Cruz, who's extremely tough. We saw Nikki fight twice. One time she took her opponent out. Good to be back in Colorado, though. Oh, Much as I love it. Wyoming. Little metal rock going. We'll take it. Yeah. Good to be back in the Budweiser Event Center. It's been so long. I love this venue. It is great, isn't it? And there's the head hunter in the ring and rolling. And her opponent fighting out of the Larry H. Miller Volkswagen of a Lakewood Blue Corner and making her way down the Hulk Addicts runway. Please welcome Avery Sage. Our second half of the ladies only fight tonight, Avery Sunshine Shage fighting out of Syndicate MMA and honoring U.S. Navy service member Anthony Hubbard. There she is. Working the perfectly timed in. Yes. We talked about it in the last fight. It's interesting how fighters enter. Is it a mind game? Do you want to keep them waiting a little bit? As long as they don't pull up Prince Nassim Hamed and have a 30 minute entrance. All right, tail of the tape here. We're looking at Courtney Cameron, the elder by a decade at 36 years old versus the 26 year old Sage. Cameron, 5'5 versus the uh, five foot nine inch tall Sage. So a height advantage there for Sage. Two and oh as a Sambo stylist working her MMA game here for Cameron versus the zero and one record of Sage. Yes, and we saw both ladies fight. Sage fought on Wyoming five, and we saw Courtney Cameron again taking on Nikki Cruz. So both of these ladies uh, looking for something here, something special. Tale of the tape presented by Leatherneck Heating and Cooling. Got to get some comfort, right? Absolutely. See our sponsors coming across the bottom of your screen. If you need anything or want anything like going to Breckenridge Distillery. There you go. You'll find it right here. Ladies and gentlemen, this women's featherweight MMA bout is presented by Leatherneck Heating and Cooling, who is presenting our tale of the tape and in our pre-show this evening. Let's meet the fighters. First, fighting out of the Brandon Dodge red corner. She stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 137.4 pounds. She is fighting in honor of United States Air Force veteran Landon Hopper, and she fights out of Denver, Colorado, introducing Courtney the Headhunter Cameron. 
And her opponent fighting out of the Larry H. Miller Volkswagen of Lakewood Blue Corner. She stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 135.4 pounds. She is fighting in honor of U.S. Navy veteran Anthony Hubbard, and she fights out of Las Vegas, Nevada, introducing Avery Sunshine Sage. Boy, both these ladies long and strong. Absolutely. You've been given your instructions. Keep it clean. Protect yourselves at all times. Obey my commands. If you want to touch gloves, touch it now. Go back to your corners. Let's do this. Let's do this. I like it. <laughs> Cordy Cameron in the red corner. Sage in the blue corner. we go round one. You ready? You ready? Let's do this. Let's go. Touch of gloves, and we are off with women's MMA action. Courtney fired off that left. It did not connect. Neither did the right. That missed as well. That front kick's going to be a weapon by Sage because she's got that length on her. She does have that length advantage and so far utilizing it nicely. Both fighters trying to find their distance right now. Most of these fights have started. Oh, and a powerful kick shot. followed by a right oh, hand. Oh, yeah. But good job by Cameron immediately trying to turn it into a takedown. Quick recovery. Yeah, and that was the only thing she could do and the smart thing to do at that stage when you get hurt, JR. And that really speaks well of her conditioning to be able to recover that quickly. There's a flash knockdown, and she did what she needed to do, grab your opponent. Sunshine with a kick to the midsection, and then firing off that left jab. Not sure that connected. Couple the kick of, did. Yeah, the kick did. I was going to say a couple of nice body kicks by Sunshine. <laughs> There's that front kick again. She's going to utilize that to keep that distance. Sage has to take advantage of that early Momentum that she had with a minute 29 left in this round. Both I was, ladies trying to, you're just thinking. I that. was just thinking, don't take your foot off the gas pedal. <laughs> Both circling, looking for perhaps that big shot, but. Sage is throwing her lead leg, leg kick with, uh, with really minimal power, and her corner's telling her. Just, just got a good takedown there. Good takedown. Full mount, trying some grounded pound. Not quite the full mount. I was going to say the corner of Cameron going to say take advantage of that uh, lackluster leg kick. Counter back, but not able to do so before getting taken down. And good flurry of ground and pound by Sage. Yeah, Sage has been a great job of taking advantage of what she's been given. And she changed levels there and got that takedown in the corner with 47, 40 seconds left in this opening round. And got a little bit of action there. Sage with her back against the cage is going to want to try to turn her hips and get her knees on the ground with her feet under her so she can start working her way towards standing. But Sage doing a good job staying over the top of her opponent's head. And now lighten her up with ground and pound, full mount. Yeah, and she's trying to, what, on the bottom, what Courtney Cameron's trying to do is slide through and get out of the trouble like right she there. just did. Just turn oh. those hips, get the knees on the ground. 10 second clacker and they are gonna stand Boy, these and ladies, swing. These ladies are in shape. Cameron coming up with a knee at the end of the round. Wow. Exciting action, but mostly favoring Sage. Yeah, Sage is in great shape too. I mean, JR, she's barely breathing. All right, so here on the replay, got the takedown, but Cameron able to work her way back to her feet. Both fighters stood there. Heat's trying to light up the other yeah. one. It was a good exchange of strikes there. Both of them landed a little bit and uh, made for an exciting end of the round. Now here's the opportunity where you come up with that knee, and this is where Sunshine gets that takedown. And she was able to, I believe, take that second round. Nice moments by Courtney Cameron. But she's got to have this third round and maybe more. Yeah, there, there, there was that definitive knockdown in favor of Sage. So 
for sure I agree that she won the round and comes out working that long front kick again. Cameron's having a hard time reaching Sage. Closing the distance a little bit. You talked about not throwing that kick with authority and almost got caught. There's that front kick again. Cameron taking a couple of hard shots early in round one. Uh, makes it makes the person possibly a little tentative to bridge that gap against the taller fighter. Yeah, absolutely. You get lit up on your way in or dropped and makes you maybe not want to step into their range. And listen, Cam uh, Sage knows right now that she's probably ahead two rounds to none. So when you have that lead, you can afford to be a little more picky about what you're doing and where you're going unless you get that opportune time to finish the fight. Cameron got a little leg kick there to the back calf. Yeah, I need you to brush her forward with punches. Yes, with your punches, she's stopping. Uh, Corner of Sage, Jasmine will give a little more pressure now. I yeah, correct myself, second round. That first round just lasted a long time, JR. <laughs> Dad or I'm just old. Still got to do something here. I mean, it's anybody's round with a minute 29 left, and Cameron needs it. See a little blood leaking out of the nose of Cameron, yep. so you can tell she's sort of tasted the power that Sage has to offer up. But Sage, I'm a, I'm a little perplexed as to why she's not pressuring the action a little bit more. I think she's a little, I, she's having a hard time finding that range, Jarrah. I know that she's got to take some punishment when she comes in, like that sidekick. There you go. Sage comes back with it, and again up against the cage. Cameron, nice job with the tie up. Oh, nice, nice left on the break. Oh. Thought I saw an eye poke there, but no complaint from Cameron, so. On we go. 34 seconds left in this round. Cameron's wearing it a bit right now. He's got a little, little cut or opening. Nice right to the lower mandible, lower jaw. A little superwoman punch there, landed well. Got to follow it up with something. There's the clacker. There's that Cameron, left with that rage. Cameron trying to close the distance. And that's the thing you're finding. Jared, the distance is the problem right now for Cameron. And I don't know that she can get Sage on the ground, but she's going to have to take a chance in this third round of trying to get inside. She can't score where she's at right now. That's right. She's got to bridge that gap, close that distance. And if I'm in Sage's corner, I'm saying, hey, go back to what you were doing in round number one. You were maintaining distance, using the control of the space, but you were landing, you were throwing, you were regular with your striking attack. Now I see the sign, it is round three. Now. It is round three. Yes. All right, checking out the replay here. Using that teeth kick is Sage. Off the back leg, add a little bit more power into it, and then working the body kick. Sage just landed a number of really nice body kicks and then just probing with the jab. Yeah. So Sage doing a good job managing the distance, just not enough output, in my opinion. Yeah, and the thing about it is, when you when you manage the distance like that with that front kick, you can do that with your jab. She's been effective, but again, put some more on it. Exactly. Touch of gloves for sportsmanship, and away we go. Ooh, couple shot, nice shots by Courtney Cameron. Yeah, Cameron going upstairs with the head kick. Super long punch. Looks to me like the corner was in the ear of Cameron. Yep. Trying to define her game plan for the third round. Yeah, there's nice inside low kick as well. And then coming over with the right. Closing the distance a little bit better this round to start it off. Definitely. This is what Cameron needed to be doing throughout the entirety of the fight. Closing in on two minutes left in this fight. Courtney Cameron trying to come back. Scored with the, with the left. 
Oh, and nice kick to the right side. Cameron lined her up with the body kick, getting a little payback for some of those bo earlier body kicks from stage. And that one landed flush, I'm telling you. That made a hurt her a little bit. Courtney's cutting off the ring now and kind of dictating where they're going. Yes, keep going. Right in front of us, left jab, Sunshine misses, but backs her up, there's that front kick again, Cameron going downstairs. Well, Sunshine's gloves are down if Cameron can get inside a little bit. Yeah, Sage relegated to working primarily defense here in third round. She had a really nice first round and then has just sort of not been as willing to engage in rounds two and three. It'll be interesting to see how this one's scored. Oh, nice shot to the back liver. Oh, and a nice powerful kick. body kick by yeah. Cameron. Right in front of us, we heard the thud. A couple body shots here scoring as well. Then going upstairs. Sunshine goes with the knee. A nice front job kick. with the knee. Thought she was going to try to go for a takedown, but working the movie tie game instead. Nicely done by Sage. Yep, Sunshine goes to the body with the kick. Back comes Cameron. Boy, Cameron's really put in a nice series of body kicks in this round. Goes with the overhand right. Sage seems a little out of sorts as far as where she was and where the momentum of this fight is going. No, nice overhand right as well. Yeah, that turns, turns Sage's head to the side. That one connected as well. That's in front of us. We'll tell you. If they miss or the connect, that's the big thing. You can sit there and talk about combination, but what lands? That big right missed. Crowd's loving this. 15 seconds left. Cameron got to finish strong. 10 she seconds. Does. Blacker. Both fighters heard it. Both trying to do something definitive to end the round. Oh, well, Courtney Cameron with a nice stiff left. This one's going to be interesting because both ladies bloodied at the end of it. And I, I agree with you, JR. You saw a lot from Sunshine Sage in that early, that first run, really the entirety. It's gonna be a close fight. Agreed. Crowd definitely behind these fighters. And checking out things on the replay here. There's the miss. There's a body shot that hits. That's where Sage had her head turned away from powerful Ooh. shot. Cameron working those body kicks. So you're she stagger a, backwards a little bit there, JR. Yeah, Cameron did a nice job with her kicking game in the third round. And again, the question is, too, listen, and, and no judge is perfect, and you see this in certain fights, there's a difference between a, a three-punch combination and one that lands. Did one of those three punches land? What do the judges see? Right. Sage able to go back to her body kicking a little bit there in the third round, and she really did a nice job with that in the first round. Sage and Cameron both getting the crowd pumped up here. Judge has got the calculators out. Yeah, Big Mo has the word. Here comes Big Mo with the decision. This was a close one. We'll see if we got a 29-28 fight or what the judges saw. Who outworked two those last two rounds? Ladies and gentlemen, after three full rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard for the official decision. Judge Abeda scores at 29 to 28, Sage. Judge Ramirez scores at 29 to 28, Cameron. Ooh. And Judge Mason scores about 29 to 28, declaring your winner by split decision, Avery Sunshine Sage. Well, you said it'd be close, Todd, yep. and it doesn't get any closer than split decision. We'll yeah. take it up to Miranda for the post-fight interview. Yeah, some of the crowd doesn't like that. Hi, Avery. 
All right, so the ladies always bring it, and you guys did not disappoint tonight. Did Cameron bring exactly what you expected? Yeah, she's tough. I've been uh, wanting to fight her for like two years, so long night. Come in, and it was awesome. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. You put on a heck of a performance, did a good job putting your striking together, defending takedowns, showing a takedown of your own, doing a good job mixing it together. Is that what you hope to show tonight, or what was the ultimate goal? Yeah, uh, ultimately I quit my job a year ago to train full time. So to come in here and to be able to show the things that my team has helped me with and the Cinda chicks who came here all the way from Las Vegas to be here with me, uh, just my awesome team helped me and built me and this is exactly what I wanted to show. Absolutely, you did a good job proving that. Good job tonight, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Well, there we go, Avery Sage getting to head back to Vegas with the victory. I'd make that drive a little bit shorter. Let's get a word from our sponsors.